Hello everybody, VM Reviewer 86 here and today I'm going to review the Kyocera event by Virgin Mobile. Okay, so first thing about this phone is as you can see the lock screen uh, has got your time and sorry for the delay there, it's got your time and it, one thing I like about this is it has this little camera shortcut button and I mean you see this in a lot of different user phases on a lot of different phones but for low end phone uh, something little like that it's pretty cool okay let's see what let's unlock the phone here okay so about this phone this phone runs off of uh, Android of course uh, ice cream sandwich 4.04 4 uh, is the stock ROM that comes installed with it um, I Highly doubt that this phone will ever be upgraded to Android Jelly Bean, but if that ever does happen, well, you know, miracles do happen, right, for low-end phones. Okay, this phone has a 3.5-inch display, and, uh, or, you know, compare it to, like, an iTouch, something like this, uh, and, I mean, you can see probably the p difference in quality, I mean, even something as old as this I touch three third gen right here is gonna have a lot better uh, resolution than this phone uh, than this phone it's a uh, 320 by 480 and it's got a 165 uh, PPI which is like the pixel density I guess ratio that and a lot of the newer high-end phones uh, like the Nexus the iPhone 5 and so forth uh, these newer phones have uh, PPIs of over like 300 close to 400 and so forth so I mean if you're looking for like a great quality screen uh, I'm sorry I'm recording this with my with my other phone here my Nexus 4 but uh, you're not gonna I mean it's you're not gonna be wowed by watching videos or movies on this thing uh, one thing I kind of did like about this phone, and you can't really see it up here on top, but it, uh, next to the logo up there, uh, there, let me see if I can get the light to reflect it or not. You see that little white dot right there? It's kind of like a little proximity light, and I, it's just a notification light. When you're charging it, it lights up red, and if you get notifications uh, to d certain apps or whatever, uh, it lights up green so I mean I mean it's nothing big but uh, some Android phones don't have this feature at all so I mean for a low end $80 phone to to give you something like that you know that's I mean it's pretty good um, this phone has a Qualcomm single core 1 gigahertz processor and it comes with 512 megabytes of RAM and even though the RAM is really low the phone is actually pretty snappy let me see if I can touch the middle thing there and you can see there like you really get no lag jumping from the apps to widgets and uh, I haven't installed too much apps on this phone uh, but here so let me go back to the home but I mean everything that I have installed it seems to run pretty decent and I I, I really haven't seen any major major lag with this uh, as far as that goes um, This phone does come with I'm sorry this one does come with one gigabyte of internal storage So uh, unlike other low-end phones that come with sometimes less than 500 uh, Megabytes of internal storage. That's really good because I mean most phones nowadays Don't allow you to copy over the apps to the SD card and that's another thing I want to say. This phone does have expendable memory. Uh, if you guys are huge music or movie buffs and like to, you know, carry things along with you, uh, it has a, a, a micro SD card slot, uh, but not on the side like you see on other phones. Um, this, uh, it's in the back. You have to pop out the battery. Uh, you actually have to pop out the battery and and remove the back cover as well. Okay, let's see what else. This uh, about the battery. The battery is a fifteen hundred milliamp battery, and so far, uh, already having the phone a couple of days, uh, I have uh, the battery's not great, great. But if you're not, 
consistently using it like facebook twitter instagram like and if, if you use it moderately you're going to get a good 8 to 12 hours of battery life on this phone especially if you use wi-fi because uh, as you guys know uh, sprints 3g is just horrible and oh well if you guys are in the market for that then you know this is a good phone i i i i'm i use t-mobile but sprint they or virgin mobile excuse me virgin mobile that sells these phones to consumers that don't want to pay for contracts and people like myself who don't want to be tied down to contracts that that's where i started i started out with virgin mobile and i worked I, and i i had them for a few years and you know i had a, i had a, like five different phones with virgin mobile and I, I loved all the phones but i just did not like the network so that's one reason why I switched over was there because their 3G network is well it's horrible in my area it varies for everybody but for me I hated the 3G for Sprint so I mean don't let don't let that be a factor in this review though I'm just giving you guys my opinion on that I mean phone wise you know if this phone was on another carrier and I was uh, going to use it for, like on T-Mobile or AT and T and it, I, and it cost around the same price, I would get this phone like straight up because the phone's a decent phone. Okay, so back to talking about the phone here. I wanted to tell you guys that on the back, of course, you have your camera, right? And let me see if I can get a decent reflection. Camera is a 3.2 megapixel camera with a little LED flash there. And right there, you can see next to it is the speaker. Uh, the speaker is loud and clear. So if you're playing music without the headphones, it actually it's pretty crisp. It's not bad. Uh, kind of loud. If you lay it down, it'll be muffled like all other phones. But going back to the camera, the camera is just ugh, the camera is horrible. If you want a camera, if you're looking to get this phone and expect to get take good pictures with this camera, uh, don't because I've only taken like maybe three pictures in indoors and it's just horrible. I'm gonna try getting some shots outside tomorrow during the day and uh, see if I can get another video up um, but the, honestly the picture quality is just bad you don't have auto there's no autofocus on the camera so don't expect like great things out of this camera you you would have to sh jump over a bridge just to get a good picture I guess but <clears throat> let me talk about build quality now uh, build quality on this phone isn't bad I mean I mean, like I said, like, let me sit it next to and, you know, a, a freaking iTouch 3G, third gen. And, you know, this phone is, or this, just this, and sorry, I have a cover on it, but it's heavy. You can feel that it's, the build quality, it, it feels sturdy in the hands. This phone, it does not feel sturdy in the hands at all. Um, It's very lightweight. This back cover is very, it's very, uh. It's grippy, I mean, so you won't have trouble dropping, as you can see there. Like it's got like little ridges there in the back. Um, it's very pl plastic. It has a very plasticky and hollow feel to it. Um, on top is your freaking micro USB slot, or your micro USB charging port, and your and the uh, three point five millimeter uh, headphone jack area. But as said, uh. I mean, it's not a horrible phone in build quality. I mean, it's got some nice little features to it, like the bordering around it, like where my hand is touching right here. It's kind of, sh it's a little shiny there, so it makes it look kind of good. Um, I still have the freaking screen protector on, so I have no clue how the screen feels. It's, but I mean, if you feel it right here, it's just a plasticky feel. So, if you if you drop this phone, don't expect it to crack or break anytime soon. But, um. And of course, if I didn't tell you guys already down here in the first video in the unboxing, you have three capacitive buttons. So these aren't physical buttons; they're uh, little things. So uh, I guess that's it on the first video. Um, I, I'll try to get another video up. Uh, if you guys are interested about this phone and have more questions, follow me on on Twitter at. Uh, VM reviewer 86 and I also have an Instagram VM reviews or just comment and leave questions. Uh, thanks again.